Damn, his hair is getting so long. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Such Plants. If you're new around here, my name is Ron, and today I'm gonna be adding a plank to my Raphidophora hyi. So about a month ago, I repotted this plant because I had found a death plug in the pot. There was actually two death plugs because there were two separate plants within the pot. And I had first thought it was a dead leaf sticking out of the soil, but lo and behold, it was actually the death plug. So I quickly repotted it. And ever since then, guys, the plant has shot out so many leaves. It's growing like crazy. It's overgrown the existing plank that it's on. And I've been kind of busy, so I've been putting off the repotting or the addition of the plank, which I showed you which plank that I ended up buying from Home Depot. And it is this one right here. It has no like waterproofing or varnish or any type of sealant or stain. But what I did end up doing was waterproofing this bottom portion right here. So I waterproofed it with this sealant under the name of Guards. And all it needs is one thick coat and it will successfully waterproof any type of wood or porous material. So I bought that one because I was doing a lot of renovation downstairs, which required waterproofing some drywall. So that's why I had it on hand, but I painted it on the bottom five inches right here. So I hope this is enough for the pot. Let me show you the plant. Look at that, whoa. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, dang, this, this plank right here dwarfs this one. So yeah, as you can see, this vine that's just dangling up to the side. That's how much it's overgrown, this baby plank right here. I thought this plank was pretty big when I first got the plant, but it's such a baby now. This is like, if I stretched it out straight, almost a foot of vine hanging off of the plank. And that's just one vine. Here's another one right here. Oh, this one's actually on the other side. But that's super long as well. This one is getting there too. So that's three vines on this plant that are in dire need of a new bigger plank. So I had originally thought there were more than two or three vines in the pot because I thought I saw some new growth peeking out. But maybe those are just taking a while to grow. Yeah, like this one right here is actually the fourth vine, but it's not growing as fast as the other ones. But hopefully when I put it onto this new plank, it's gonna grow even faster. So towards the top here on these vines, you can see that the leaves are starting to get bigger and bigger, which is what we want, right? Bigger leaves, equal a healthy plant. And that is with the absence of a plank, actually. So that's quite surprising. Um, so when I, when I do attach this to the new plank, it's probably gonna grow even bigger leaves, right? So what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna try to not disturb the roots as best that I can, because I had just repotted this a month ago and I don't want to shock it by messing with the roots again so soon. So I'm gonna be very, very careful. But my dilemma today is that this plank might not fit in this pot. So, I mean, it could fit like directly in the middle, but that's like slicing the pot right in half. And that only leaves me with one half of the pot to put the plant in. And I don't think that will be enough room. So, I'm gonna be repotting it into the ceramic pot, which it is glazed on the inside 
and I don't recommend potting plants into glazed pots unless you know what you're doing in terms of like the texture of the soil and how often to water your plant and the lighting that's required by the plant in order to use all of that moisture that's in the soil. So I'm going to try to add more chunkiness to the existing soil so that it doesn't retain a lot of moisture for too long because the glazed ceramic pot will stop the process of absorbing the excess moisture from the soil. So yeah, but this does have a drain hole right there. And because I don't have a nursery pot that's big enough to fit this plank or small enough to fit into this pot as a cash pot. So we're just gonna throw her in here. So this is the vision right here. Can you see what I'm trying to go for? Not bad. Although I do like the look of the stained plank um, in combination with a white pot. But I'm hoping the green from the leaves will become a nice complement to this color combination. Let me just show you the closer look and we'll go ahead and depot the plant. Okay, so let's just remove the pot from the cash pot here. This will be interesting because we can actually see just how much root growth has developed ever since repotting the plant. It is a bit damp because I did water it several days ago. I feel like it should just pop out, but it's, it's not. Oh, there's actually a tiny bit amount of roots coming out from the bottom, if you can see, which tells me that there is a lot of root action in soil, which is exactly what we wanna see, which explains why there has been a lot of growth up on top. So the roots are probably like, grabbing onto the sides of the pot. Like I said earlier, I don't want to mess with the roots too much. Okay. Wow. That is a lot of roots. Nice and healthy too. So let me be right back and grab more of the I'm gonna add some cocoa chips as well as some orchid bark and that should be good. Okay, let's try to loosen this up a little bit. This is so cool. I'm like wondering if it's the, the new soil that really encouraged all of this root growth or if it's from the removal of those death plugs. Probably a combination of both, right? Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the plank. Here I am thinking I was just gonna repot the whole thing into the new pot, but I forgot that I was going to add it to the new plank. Now, to be extra careful as to not break off any leaves, I am going to just snip off the rubber bands, I think. I'll just use Velcro tape to hold it to the new plank instead. So this is the part that I was nervous about, um, detaching the aerial roots from the plank. So let's see how easy it is or difficult. Not the kind of sound you wanna hear, but it's not too bad. All right, there we go. So there's the plank, which you can kind of start to see that it is actually rotting from all of that excess moisture that it's being exposed to, you see? And it is kind of soft. Now, let me just go ahead and try to remove some of the soil. I'm not gonna remove all of the soil. OK, 
Okay, so that's about it. This is pretty big root system. I'm trying to remember how big it was before. And I feel like it was only half this size, which is crazy for it being just one month of growth. So let's just put her aside for now and mix up the extra chunk, okay? Just put a layer in first. The soil was pretty moist already to start with, so right after I'm done, I don't think I'm gonna be watering the plant until it dries up a little bit more. So it's probably gonna be three more days until it dries. Okay, so there's the base. Add this plank. I think it looks good just like this, but I'll kind of backfill behind it before I put more soil in the front. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I'm gonna to try to put all of the plants on one side of the plank so that I don't have to keep rotating the pot in order to get equal sun exposure. So we're just gonna roughly position the plant in here. I don't know if you can see, but there is some of this, I think this is twine, some kind of twine wood material that weaves in and out of the pot. And because it's weaving through the pot, there are holes in the pot. So the root system has to sit below that. Okay, so it is kind of difficult because the, the vines are just flopping everywhere. So I think I'm gonna try to secure it to the plank already. This is awesome, by the way. I really recommend this because, I mean, Velcro is reusable, but on the inside, it's very soft to the touch. So it doesn't harm your stems or leaves. Okay, so I think it's actually pretty good for now. Um, but now we're just gonna fine tune it and make sure all of those area roots have contact with the plank. Okay, well, as you can see, we have already run out of space. <laughs> but doesn't that look so lush? All that growth, that's crazy. I think I like it. In a couple months, I am gonna have to extend this. Once again, I somehow underestimated how fast this thing grows. So as you can see, this one is the very wonky one that I could not seem to get straight. Um, so it's just doing its thing. I'm just gonna let it continue to somehow make its way back to this plank. But I think when it's time to extend this, I'm gonna probably just purchase a second one of this and find a way to attach it to the top or simply put this against my wall in this room somewhere and then just let the whole thing take control of my life. So yeah, there we go. Well, that's about it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please do hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't yet already, plant scribe. I guess all we can do now is wait another one or two months until it's time to actually extend this plank. So I'll probably make a playlist for this plant specifically. <laughs> anyway, Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.